Hey there creepy peeps and welcome to another unboxing video today. I have with me the June horror block. I know I got this one right. Um, this is like a belated birthday present. I'm really excited about this one. Um, so we're gonna get right into it. Ooh, what is this? It says, dear nerd block customer, thank you again for your continued patience. We are still experience a printing delay, but didn't want you to wait any longer so we've included a mystery shirt from a past block as a bonus plus you also receive your may shirt once available oh i didn't even realize there wasn't a shirt in the other one okay um so i already recognized the shirt which is the ouija board shirt which we have gotten before but that's okay i think i got black this time last time i got like a navy one so sweet okay so, awesome, we've gotten this shirt before, not disappointed in that. Um, next thing we got is some sort of poster, which is nicely wrapped up, I will say so. Okay, <clears throat> ooh, the paper too. Okay, I'm intrigued. So tell me what it is. Oh, sorry, <laughs> it's upside. <gasps> is that, oh my God, wow. That is amazing. Look at that art. It's obviously for A Nightmare on Elm Street, but you guys know how I feel about Wes Craven. That's just so... Uh, <laughs> um, this is absolutely amazing. Um, the, the quality of the paper, which I, you probably can't really see. I don't know paper things, the cardstock. I don't know. It's really thick though. This is fucking beautiful. I love this. Um, okay. Wow. I cannot wait to frame this. I have so many things that I need to frame and I think this is, has just jumped to the top of my priority list to frame this. Um, okay, anyway, so the next thing I'm pulling out is an umbrella. <laughs> I don't really wanna open it inside because that's bad luck, but I wanna see what it is. Um, okay, so it's silvery and it's got a very interesting handle, which I don't, Again, I don't want to open it because that's bad luck, but I also want to see what it is. I don't even know how this opens. How the... Oh. Does it, does it count if I just get half bad luck? What is it? Ugh. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, it's, it's only half bad luck. I didn't open it all the way, but just for the sake of showing you guys. Um, it's a carry umbrella, so it's all black. And then just one panel of it is Carrie. Looks like, you know, like an umbrella, just in case somebody decides to pour a pig blood on you. You can protect yourself. Um, that's awesome. I'm really excited to use this. It rains a lot here in Florida. And I don't have a horror umbrella. I just have like one with like rainbow polka dots on it and stuff. Totally boring. Um, I'm really damn excited that I have a horror umbrella. And hopefully I don't get too much bad luck for opening that. I only opened it part way. Okay. Um, okay. Next thing is what the fuck is this? This is not microwave safe. Do not ingest. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, okay. This is definitely going to be something I'm going to have to look at the little cheat sheet to figure out what this is. Uh, it says blood type O, which is my blood type. I'm O negative. Sweet. Um, and it's like kind of like a gel pack. It says not to microwave it and not to ingest it. So I'm not sure what the purpose of this is yet or if it's just like a little decorative thing. But I will find out once I get to the little booklet in here. Okay. Now, this is something <laughs> I have been really fucking excited about and I knew this was coming in the horror block and I'm so happy to have the latest addition to the Rue Morgue Magazine library collection thing, which is Women with Guts. And I am, like I said, I'm just really fucking excited to own this. Um, this is amazing. All right, I knew it was coming, so <laughs> I'm not like surprised to see it. I'm just really fucking happy that it is here in my hand. Already favorite item, even above that beautiful poster favorite item. Interesting. Okay. So if you watched my box of dread unboxing, which I don't know if it'll be up first, but I'll link it up there at some point. Um, we got a little signed thing from Joe 
Chianakis, I hope I said that right again, for being the horror book of the year author. Again, another signed thing, which I'm gonna go ahead and show. Half the book. I don't know, now I don't know if we got this in Horror Block or Box of Dread. Shit. Cause I got this in Box of Dread <laughs> as well. So now I have two. <laughs> now I have two points if you get that reference that I just did. <laughs> now I have two and I like they're a little bit different. I can't remember now if we got this in Horror Block or Box of Dread. I assumed it was Box of Dread because this I got this one first, but okay. Awesome, very cool. I have two signed things from that author, that's amazing. Um, okay, last thing we got is a comic. Kind of delving into Box of Dreads territory, aren't we, horror block? Um, okay, so we have a comic here for Penny Dreadful. Yet another Penny Dreadful thing, <laughs> which I'm not, I mean, I've never watched the show, so I really can't say anything. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I've never watched the show. Or the fact that Ash vs. Evil Dead is also on Stars, so I like Ash vs. Evil Dead stuff. Um, but that's cool. The art looks really cool. Okay, and then of course the last thing we got is a little booklet, like mini magazine, whatever, which never fucking tells us what's coming in the next month. Ever. Um, so let's go ahead and see what that blood bag was. Okay, so, oh, it's a freezer pack. Oh, okay. It says a blood bag makes for a fun and frightening addition to your lunchbox or picnic as a freezer pack, of course. Keep your favorite food and drink cold with this handy accessory. That's useful. We got some useful items in here. An umbrella, a freezer pack for your lunchbox. Awesome. Um, and then we got the Nightmare on Elm Street print, which it doesn't say who it was by or anything like that, but it is fucking beautiful. Um, and then it also shows the um, shirt I guess we were supposed to get and we will get, I suppose, which is supposed to be a Lost Boy shirt, which if we are, if that's, if that's what they were waiting for to print and we're gonna get it eventually, then I'm happy about that. <laughs> Um, once again, it does not say what's coming next month, which I've, every time they send out one of those surveys, I say, can you please tease what's in the next box? I want to know. Um, all in all, I think that is a really solid horror block. I know some of you guys don't like those items, like the umbrella, like sort of like hokey, I guess, items like that, but I really love that. Um, <laughs> anytime I have the chance to show off my love of horror. I'm happy, um, and that poster is fucking amazing. I'm really happy about the Woman with Guts magazine. I can't wait to read through that. I feel like I'm so excited. I'm gonna read through that so quick. Um, so let me know what your favorite item was in the comment section down below, and let me know what you think of this month's box. I think this is a really good, a really good box, considering the past couple ones have been a little bit lackluster with everybody. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, subscribe to become a creepy peep today. And until next time, stay strange. Bye.